Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. All right, so for those of you that are already aware of T-Mobile and Netflix taking away the uh, Netflix on us subscription, ad-free subscription. Now that was due, let me just be clear, that was due to Netflix making changes to the plans. It's not T-Mobile's fault. Now T-Mobile did take away Netflix on some of their plans because, uh, you know, that's just what they wanted to do. So we're, we're not entirely happy with T-Mobile for doing that as well. But more importantly, we're more disturbed with Netflix. So Netflix has now Netflix on us with ads, which was to replace T-Mobile's ad-free Netflix on us. A lot of customers were not happy about that originally when this news came about, but some of you have learned to deal with it. I myself just got rid of, got rid of it. I'm not, I don't want to pay anything for Netflix. It's too expensive for me. I don't watch it. I'd rather, I'd rather save my money. I need it for other things. I have other bills to pay that are more important than Netflix, which I don't watch anyway. I'm all about keeping my money right now. So anyway, looks like things are a lot worse than we originally thought, according to customers. There's some interesting stuff here that I was not aware of, because like I said, I got rid of Netflix when the news came just about. So I haven't been tracking it as much as maybe some of you are because you're using it. You're still customers of Netflix. But here's what it looks like. It looks like, uh, of course, there's some other things here. You know, Netflix went ahead and did some other annoying things with the uh, cracking down on password sharing, which they're saying has also been a strain to subscribers, given that the Netflix benefit was marketed as a family benefit. They don't even want you sharing it with anybody, which, um, you know, if if it's in one household and you're all logged into the same password, they're not going to know, you know, they didn't really care. But if you have to give your password to someone outside of your house, maybe they're in another state, Netflix is just being real strict with that. Now, I don't understand what the big deal is. I, I understand they want to charge as much as they can for every single view. It's a little pathetic being as how much money that they make and how much money that they have, but whatever, that's their rules. It's just how it is. So that's one of the things that customers are complaining about, but this was interesting. Uh, they're saying that some customers took to social media talking about the confusion of the change. Many uh, comment on another surprising revelation they're saying. The ads do come, but it seems to vary greatly based on internet connection, device, or VPN status. There was also a support document, which you will see in the article if you click on it, which I'll link down below for you in the description. They're saying, unless your device can update to an app version that lets the ads play, you will not be able to stream on it. If they can't push the ads, you can't even watch. So keep that in mind. If you're watching Netflix on a browser, that you have pop-up blockers on, you're not going to be able to watch your ad-free, your ads on us experience because those ads will not populate. So that's something to remember. And a lot of customers find that annoying because maybe they have a favorite browser that they watch everything on. Maybe it has all their plugins, whatever the reason is, you will have to disable that unless you switch your browser. It's not a huge deal, but it's annoying for many. But also... Apparently, you're limited to what you can watch with this standard with ads. They're saying that there was uh, a lot of restrictions. They're saying after the launch of the plan, many customers were noticing a second under-communicated change, which was the standard with us ads plan. Certain content is unavailable to watch on the plan at all and prompts users to upgrade to a higher tier in order to view the content. This, they're saying, seems to apply to everything from older movies like Resident Evil to past seasons of major shows like The Walking Dead, which is what one customer posted, I guess, on uh, one of their social media platforms. It looks like it might be Twitter. Uh, they went ahead and said they wanted to watch The Walking Dead, the old seasons. They were having, they wanted to have a marathon. It's not available to them with that plan. They got to upgrade in order to do so. Maybe there'd be too many ads or not enough ads. Maybe they can't capitalize on it enough at that plan, or they just want to go ahead and charge more for the programming they think more people would watch. So the reason for this video 
is if you are someone that is dealing with this, you're not alone, obviously. There's a lot of customers that are upset and irate about it. And personally, I'm glad I canceled Netflix because this company is going to hell. I don't understand the uh, frustrations here. What What is the purpose of this? They're already showing ads. They should at least allow you to get some content. You should be able to watch shows. You know, it's bad enough that Netflix takes things away so frequently. I don't know about you, but if you've ever used Netflix, if you ever watched it, some of you may never even watch it, but if you've watched Netflix, you might find it annoying that nine out of 10 times, if you actually search for something, they don't have it. They don't have it. If you're in the mood to watch an older movie, nine out of 10 times, they don't have it. They have a bunch of new movies. A lot of it is the stuff that they're making. They're making tons of money on this, and yet they're crying wolf that they have no money. This company is going straight to the bottom. And I miss the days of Blockbuster. I really wish there was an alternative, a big enough alternative to snuff them out or at least give them a run for their money because they're getting too greedy now. And I understand the whole ads thing. It's a way to keep costs down for for customers. And, you know, these companies are saying they're not making enough money, but I, I'm really just not buying it. I think they're seeing this as a way to be more greedy. And, uh, you know, th that's their problem. Like I'll always say, I'm going to side with the consumer first because I am a consumer. I don't get kickbacks from any of these customers. And I don't, I mean, from any of these, these companies. And honestly, not that I'm big enough. My views are not big enough. I certainly don't make good money on YouTube. <laughs> For those of you that think I do, no. Uh, it's more of just a hobby. I really like in talking about the, the topics. But even if I was big enough one day to become partners with some of these companies, I would be choosing very, very wisely. Because one, I don't want to commit to these evil companies that do sinful things like this. I, I don't like their mindset. I don't like how they treat customers. Netflix is one of them. And there's a bunch of other companies that are just too greedy for their own good. I think there needs to be an overhaul with all of this. And that's why I'm so passionate about the free content because I want to help guys. I want to help you guys get access to the stuff you want without breaking the bank, without making these greedy companies more rich and having them take over your life and having them put you in debt just so you can make them rich. That's the kind of person I am. That's, you know, I'm a consumer person and that's what these videos are about. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. This is, uh, a little, a little bit too much, but again, at least T-Mobile still offering some kind of perk. At least it's still there for those that want to watch it. But the, the fact that they're dumbing it down so much now and just making things so inconvenient for viewers, honestly, if you, if you find yourself not watching it at least once a week, I, I don't even know what the point of keeping it is. There's so many alternatives out there that will get you this pretty much the same content as Netflix, probably better for less money or no money at all. You just got to do a little research. It's out there. There's plenty of it. And it's not illegal. If you're wondering, like there's free content out there or cheaper content or better for your money, even if it's the same price, more selection for your money, you know, and you got to think about the quality of the Netflix too. I, I mean, it's like 480 for these plans. It's like you're living in the nineties. You know, you're, you're like, you're watching TV on them big old TV sets. The quality is, you know, bloated. It's not enjoyable at all. And even if you don't have a 4k TV and you're watching it on just your monitor, 480 is trash. You know, <laughs> it's trash. I mean, a YouTube video gets you 1080p, which is better quality. You're not paying anything for it. You know what I mean? So I, I think for those of you that are budget conscious, demand a little bit of respect for what you pay for and are rational with what you spend your money on and what you get for your money, I think that you might understand where I'm coming from. Sometimes it might seem a little harsh, like I'm picking on the companies, but they've got to do better than this. They, they can't just sit around and expect consumers to pay so much money for things and then just take away. Just take things away, you know? But um, that's that's my view on it. That's my that's my feeling about it. And that's just how I am. I'm going to say it like it is because somebody's got to say it, you know. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.